Today, nine Michigan Republicans accused of trying to keep former President Donald Trump in power appeared virtually in an Ingham County courtroom. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Those nine are part of a group of 16 accused in a fake elector scheme trying to overturn the 2020 presidential election. News 10's Amaya Kaznicki was in the courtroom this morning and has the latest on this case. Not guilty on all counts. That's how all of the 16 Republicans who played a role in former President Donald Trump's alleged campaign scheme pleaded. In December of 2020, they were accused of falsifying documents to award the state's presidential electoral votes to President Trump instead of the candidate elected by Michigan residents Joe Biden. They are now facing eight felony charges, including conspiracy to commit election law forgery. They are all asserting that they're going to go to trial. They are still true believers in election fraud in the state of Michigan, apparently, and still true believers that Mr. Trump won the election. Cooley Law School professor Jeffrey Swartz says as this case gets closer to trial and the defendants are looking at the possibility of jail time, he believes some of them will consider the possibility of a plea deal. The bottom line is the person who comes first and says, I want to plead guilty and cooperate gets the best deal. Nine of the accused fake electors were arraigned on Thursday. The other seven were charged earlier. All 16 defendants were released on bond. I will grant you a $1,000 personal recognizance bond. They're not the kind of criminals who are going to take off and head for Honduras, okay? They're going to stick around. Swartz says the bond is low because some are leaders in the community. Among the people who are charged in this alleged scheme are a mayor, former Republican Party officials, and former state police officer James Renner. He's lived in Lansing for uh, over 32 years. Uh, and he's got uh, strong roots in the communities. Some of the defendant's attorneys have already said they will challenge the case and try to get the charges dropped. In Lansing, Amaya Kaznicki, News 10. Some of the accused fake electors are expected to have a probable cause hearing on August 18th. They're expected to appear in person for their preliminary hearing on August 24th.